In the last three years, you, you've kind of evolved from uh, creative direct, executive creative director, and then you became the chief creative officer, and then you became the uh, chief uh, social media, and you, you continue to evolve just in, in, in the role titles, the role descriptions, and to become then the chief innovation officer. Now, why was that important in an, in, an, in an innovative agency like Mullen? The reason for the changes towards the end of my tenure at the agency was, was, was actually uh, something that probably a lot of companies are going through. We were an ad agency. Our DNA, our genetic makeup was an advertising agency. That means we had a way of thinking and a way of solving problems that was so deeply ingrained in the culture um, that we were having a really, really hard time changing and evolving as, as the world got more digital, as the world got more social, as clients started to not only ask for those services, but were quick to criticize or condemn agencies that they didn't think got where the, where the world was going. My approach was, I actually don't know a lot about social, and I don't know a lot about digital, or certainly I don't know the technology. But I know an awful lot about our company, the culture, how it works, how it makes decisions, where the power resides. Um, and I think I can learn some of this stuff fast enough with the help of people who are smarter than I am, who really know it. Um, I can be their, their cheerleader, their catalyst, their, um, you know, their, uh, their front guy, um, and maybe make this work throughout the organization. So that was actually the reason for it. I would actually strongly suggest that any company that is still struggling with transformation try not to do it with an outsider, but try to find an insider who's willing to learn enough about the new stuff to be able to, uh, you know, impose it or infiltrate it or introduce it or inspire people to learn it themselves. I remember once I was with a creative director. And I was lamenting the fact that most of the work that he did seemed so advertising-centric. And I suggested that he pay a little bit more attention to new and emerging technologies. And coincidentally, it was the day that uh, the Arcade Fire Wilderness Downtown Google Chrome thing had, had just come out, which, which was a pretty cool thing that was released that day. So, so and he said, now I don't need to learn anything about any kind of technology at all. I said, why is that? And his comment was, because I know that whatever I think up, somebody can build it or do it. I said, you're absolutely right. Hey, come here, I want to show you something. And I brought him in my office and I played that for him and let him do the little demonstration of it. He, he was blown away. And then I asked him, so, could you think that up? And he had this blank look on his face and then sheepishly he admitted that no, he couldn't. And the reason he couldn't is because he wasn't aware that there were technologies that would even allow him to do that. Right. And that that's one way of thinking about square shape, I suppose, from an advertising perspective. It's right. less about less about thinking about it from the from the um, from the digital perspective, which is you better learn about all of this technology enough to be able to conceive ideas that take advantage of it. If you don't know how augmented reality works and what you can do with it, right. We're never going to come up with an idea that takes advantage of it. <laughs> well, very good. Thanks very much for your time, Edward. Hey, my pleasure, Alan. As always, it's uh, great engaging with you. I love what you're doing. I love the fact that you are you are so passionate about the new stuff. You're you're always willing to share. So yeah. thank you so much. Thank uh, you, Edward. And, um, thanks for having me. Thanks, Edward. Thanks for tuning in to AQ's Blog and Grill. We had a great chat with uh, Edward Bochez of uh, Mullen Advertising and now Boston University School of Advertising. So uh, please tune in later. We'll have lots more exciting episodes coming up. Bye for now.